Supporters of Prime Minister Ersin Tatar poured into the streets to celebrate his election win as president of the breakaway Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus on Sunday. Tatar, who favours closer ties with Turkey, said he's ready to negotiate with Greek Cypriots. Michael Davenport reports. Supporters of a Turkish Cypriot nationalist politician celebrate in Nicosia after their leader was narrowly elected the winner in North Cyprus's presidential election. Ersin Tatar, who's currently the Prime Minister, secured a narrow victory in Sunday night's second round, winning 51.7% of the vote against the current left-wing president Mustafa Akunja, who took 48.3. We are the voice of Turkish Cypriots. We deserve independence. We are fighters. We are fighting to exist within the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Therefore, our neighbors in the South and the world community should respect our fight for freedom. But the world community says that it's the Greek-run Republic of Cyprus that's the only legal government on this divided island. North Cyprus is not diplomatically recognized by any country other than Turkey. Tatar's defeated rival Mustafa Okunja had said, if he was re-elected, that he would try to restart peace negotiations with the Greeks. He conceded defeat on Sunday, but suggested outside forces had contributed to his loss. That may have been a reference to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who met Tatar in the middle of the election campaign to announce the opening of an abandoned, mostly Greek town in Cyprus. Some of Tatar's opponents said that contributed to his victory on Sunday. 